Skateboarding transcends like a lot of barriers. When you start doing it uh, and you're all you're focused on is like the skateboard, it's like Everything else tends to blur out, so race, class, like all that stuff. Now that it's more socially acceptable for everybody, it's like now there's way more people of color doing it. My name is Kieran Stone. I'm 26 years old, born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. A skater, artist, I like to shoot photography a little bit. With skateboarding in particular, I feel like an individual. So like you can basically call me by my name, not by my race or my class or whatever. There's rich kids that skate, there's poor kids that skate. We're putting all of our passion into one thing so we can forget about everything else. Hey. <laughs> here in Familiar, man, it's just, everybody's, like, we don't see color here at skateboarding, you know what I'm saying? Color doesn't exist here. And it's just like, everybody jumps on the board, you're family, you know what I'm saying? When you're skating, uh, you kind of transcend race, class, whatever, but, um, it's not to say that outside of that community I didn't experience, I guess, racism and things like that. And I remember growing up and then hanging out with Minnetonka kids, which is, you know, a white suburb, pretty well off, kind of rich. And they would say the N-word around me and then look at me in the face and be like, oh, but I think you're cool. Like, it's, I'm not saying it to you. And it made me very aware of, uh, I guess, my position in society. That it might, that people might not take me seriously right away. Like I had to go an extra step, basically, to prove that I'm competent and uh, I guess serious about, I guess, my future, whatever it is that I'm involved with. It's not even like, cause I'm a skateboarder, dude. It's more like just like skin color. You know what I mean? It's just how people are in general. You know what I'm saying? And how they're gonna think, regardless if I'm on the board or not, just walking down the street, normal dude. You know what I'm saying? I gotta tell you, uh, watching the scene grow, it can be pretty humbling because uh, you kind of see the process, uh, people getting really good at what they do. Like Troy, like I've been knowing Troy since he was 12, and he's been killing it like since. My main focus with him is to get better than I am. You know what I'm saying? That's what always been the goal. Dalvin, man, just comes here every single day. Every single day. When I say every day, I mean every day, bro. He's here. All of those dudes really just, you know, push me and just show me like, oh yeah, like let me look up to these other dudes. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Especially Dalvin. Let me just be like that, you know, type shit almost. Like just looking up, like them are the dudes. So you'll see people skating in the Olympics basically in 2020. And that's kind of a crazy thought. Like 10, I mean, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, like nobody would have really imagine that being a possibility so it's definitely on its way up which is kind of cool i'm just trying to skate until i'm old like super old i'm 22 i'm trying to skate when i'm at least 60 